ManyChat for Amazon sellers just got easier with Seller Tools. Now, if you don't know, Seller Tools is how you can connect your ManyChat account with your Seller Central account so that you can automate a lot of the processes for running rebate campaigns, uh, sending out the actual payment to customers, verifying orders, and everything like that. Seller Tools is awesome. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can get some free ManyChat templates from Seller Tools and then how to actually customize that and take it the, to the next level with doing exactly how you want the actual message flow to go. So let's go ahead and jump into it, starting with introducing you to Troy with Seller Tools. What's up, Troy? Hey, Ian. Glad to be here. Exciting topic to touch on how we are again making mini chat. Uh, for Amazon sellers all the easier with our free mini chat flows. Uh, if you haven't seen or heard me before, I'm co-founder at Seller.Tools, Amazon seller, uh, consultant and advisor for brands. Uh, but this is the stuff we love to do, is how do we make mini chat super easy and then powerful too. How do you run some more advanced strategies for the competitive advantage it should give you? Yep, my name is Ian Smith. I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media. We work with a lot of Amazon sellers to help them run Facebook ads, build out messenger bots, do a lot of email marketing, stuff like that. So if you want to book a free consulting call with me, then head over to evolvemedia.agency. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into it, starting with this is my screen right here, starting with the Seller Tools website. Now, this is where you can actually get many of their different mini chat flows for free. Now, obviously, you got to have a Seller Tools account. And I believe, Troy, you do have to have the middle level account that has access to the API, right? Yeah. So actually, you can download the flows completely for free. You don't need a Seller Tools account, but to really level them up, to utilize some of the automation, um, you'll want the starter level plan. That will give you uh, what we call API access. Uh, what that means for your everyday seller is that we just help to automate these activities. So you do high value stuff, we automate them, and that's where it gets to be. Yep, and here's all of the different mini chat flows that you can download for free. Now we would recommend getting these flows because that's gonna install the actual Seller Tools app inside your mini chat account. So you're gonna wanna click on this to go ahead and download and add to your mini chat account. Then once inside mini chat, you can look at that flow and here's how you can actually customize it with these actions. So once you have your mini chat app installed and your Seller Tools API is all good, then you can come over here to the actions, click on add action, scroll down and find the seller tools one right there. Click on select action and you're going to have all these different options for things that you can do. Now the most popular ones are the order status and the wallet issue, anything wallet related and order related basically. Um, Troy, do you want to talk about uh, some of the things that you can do with the different orders? Yeah, you're spot on Ian too with the order uh, information being so powerful because obviously we can verify um, the order details uh, in terms of the what the customer has taken advantage in terms of the offer that we have set up. So rebate automation is definitely our most popular. Uh, with order verification, what we can do is you know, we, we uh, capture, we utilize our API to request and verify those orders in real time. And then everything that you can see there along the left-hand side, it's all the app data. And what that refers to is we call, we look at the Amazon data and say, man, we get all of this order detail uh, information. And then it's up to you as to how you want to map that to ManyChat and let these systems kind of communicate with one another. You know, some of them are pretty intuitive, buyer name, buyer email, uh, but then you can bring that over into custom fields into ManyChat and uh, start mapping out these uh, customer uh, and order details. Yeah, so you definitely want to make sure that you create custom fields or use the custom fields that are already imported when you import in the template. So that is the get order status. Now, what about this one, Troy? What's the difference with this one? Yeah, so the order information, what we do is we look at uh, whatever order information or order status we can find at that point in time. But you have to sort of think of it in a sequence where Amazon will uh, make an order pending to where they have the order details, but nothing has been shipped. Once an order is shipped, we have a little bit more uh, information to play with. We can see what type of ASINs, how many of each ASIN are part of that order uh, detail. And that's why you see these as two separate steps. We sort of are being able to, to look at the status. And then as we get more information, we can look at the ASIN details uh, that are part of that order and capture the relevant information from there. Yep. 
Okay, so let's talk about the wallet now. So if you didn't know anything about Seller Tools, you can actually have a wallet, you have a balance in that wallet, and that is where the, the money is deducted from when you're actually sending out rebates to customers. So you can send out a gift card, you can send out a PayPal, Venmo, uh, and then you can also just check the wallet balance to then be notified if the wallet balance falls below a certain amount to then be able to refill it and things like that. But let's just quickly go over the gift card. Troy, go ahead and tell us about the gift card action Yeah, here. gift cards are probably our most, one of our most popular, it was one of the initial uh, rebate options that we pr we brought to, to uh, market. And with the trust and authority that it brings, it's really powerful. And as you've seen with some of the other steps, this is really just filling out a form, all of the relevant information. There's a few additions here that help with things like abuse protection for customers you maybe don't want to have come back through your flows. Um, you may be potentially at some point want to add to the blacklist, the solo tools blacklist. Um, but in the same spirit of the order step, we're just essentially filling out this form. We're trying to add in um, what customer is uh, is eligible for what type of gift card, what marketplace. So if we want to use USA, we support uh, major EU marketplaces. Let's say we want USA uh, Visa gift card, really popular one. Uh, that's a quicker way to set up and get that added to your um, to your actions here in this step. Um, but yeah, it's just a few extra fields to, to be able to customize, um, what rebate or funding option now that we've added things like PayPal and Venmo and, and more to come, um, what funding option makes the most sense for you and then tailor some of the unique variables for it. Yeah. And, and notably here too, Ian, you've got the, the gift card value. So let's say you want that as a fixed number, you can add that in, or you can have that as a custom field because now. Um, if you use things like our rebate automation flow, we have custom fields that reflect the, the true price, that ASIN price, um, and we can make sure that that matches. So if we have a 50% rebate, 100% rebate, we take that value and then we can pass that along and then rebate via gift card, as the example here, um, that appropriate gift card value. Yeah, and then each of these different actions has a little bit of insight that you can click on right there. Um, if if that doesn't answer your question, you can always reach out to Seller Tools customer support, or like I mentioned before, you can book a free consulting call with me, and I can answer some questions for you regarding this, help you set it up, all that kind of stuff. But um, Troy, anything else that you want to cover before we wrap up? Yeah, Ian. Mostly, uh, as you're starting to see, it's it's as easy now as filling out a few forms. We're really excited how easy. Uh, this process is for sellers at all levels with free mini chat flows getting you about 95 percent there now you see how to customize add and manipulate actions um, again we're just excited that you know, these these more advanced strategies are, are really available to every seller at every level um, and yeah you can see how easy it is to to dive in awesome well thank you guys for watching hopefully this was helpful if it was go ahead and click that thumbs up button and we'll catch you in the next one